In today's episode, we delve into the French Revolution, comparing it to the American Revolution. While both sought freedom, the French Revolution is remembered for its violence and chaos, culminating in the replacement of one authoritarian regime with another. We will explore how this iconic event not only changed a government but also transformed aspirations for freedom into a new form of control. Don't miss this in-depth analysis of one of the most complex and decisive chapters in history. We explore how the French Revolution, despite its tumultuous development, had a deeper impact on global history than the American Revolution. We will address how France's social and fiscal structure in the 18th century, marked by a dysfunctional system where the nobility and clergy paid no taxes, led to unsustainable conditions for the majority of French citizens. This unsustainable situation was the catalyst for a revolution that not only transformed France but also redefined the concept of government and society. Discover how chaos became a catalyst for lasting change. Traveling back to 1789, a defining year for France, steeped in debt after financing the American Revolution. Louis XVI, facing a severe fiscal crisis, unsuccessfully attempted financial and democratic reforms. Simultaneously, natural disasters like hailstorms ruined crops, driving up food prices and triggering famine. This episode explores how these extreme circumstances, combined with the French love for good food, pushed the people to the brink, sparking the French Revolution. Discover the key moments that transformed a nation and changed the course of history. Examining the stark disconnect between the French monarchy and the people on the eve of the French Revolution. While peasants faced famine, King Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette enjoyed an opulent lifestyle in Versailles, evidenced by the king's robust appearance and luxurious shoes. Meanwhile, Enlightenment thinkers challenged the notion of divine mandate to rule, promoting the emancipation of religious thought. This episode reveals how the indifference of the nobility and intellectual questioning converged to sow the seeds of an impending revolution. Discover how the contrast between excess and need incited historical change. Exploring a turning point in the French Revolution. Louis XVI's a convocation of the Estates General in 1789, the first time they had convened since 1614. This assembly, divided into three estates, nobility, clergy, and the third estate, stalled in votes, leading the third estate to form its own national assembly. In a gesture of defiance, the king responded by closing the doors of the hall, barring entry. This act of exclusion marked a crucial catalyst for revolt, deepening divisions and igniting the revolution. Discover how this moment of tension and challenge precipitated radical changes in France. A pivotal moment in the French Revolution, beginning with the Tennis Court Oath. After being excluded from their usual venue, representatives of the Third Estate gathered on a tennis court, swearing not to disband until a new constitution was established for France. The tension escalated when Louis XVI sent troops to Paris, perceived by revolutionaries as a provocation leading to the assault on the Bastille on July 14 to obtain weapons and free prisoners. This symbolic act was followed by a radical movement in the National Assembly, which on August 4 abolished the structures of the old regime, laying the groundwork for a new constitution. This episode highlights how the determination and bold actions of the revolutionaries redefined the future of France. The Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen, proclaimed on August 26 by the French National Assembly, this document established a system of universal rights integrated into the new French constitution, contrasting with the American Bill of Rights, which was added later and in a limited manner. Although the French Revolution faced significant challenges in protecting these rights, the document remained a revolutionary ideal of liberty, property, and security. We explore the importance and contradictions of this milestone, and how it challenges the effectiveness of other revolutions in protecting fundamental rights. The key to the French Revolution, the Women's March on Versailles. In October 1789, while Louis XVI considered transforming France into a constitutional monarchy, a rumor that Marie Antoinette was hoarding grain inside the palace unleashed popular anger. A group of armed peasant women stormed Versailles and demanded that the king and queen move to Paris. This event highlights that the revolution was driven not only by enlightened ideals but also by basic needs and deep inequalities. Discover how the desperation of the masses can move a nation toward change, underscoring the power of the people in times of crisis. Examining how the initially moderate French Revolution took a radical and violent turn. 
The National Assembly, which aimed to establish a constitutional monarchy and limited suffrage to property-owning men, faced challenges from the Jacobins, who advocated for the formation of a republic. The conflict escalated when, in response to a Jacobin petition, troops controlled by the Assembly opened fire on a crowd, killing 50 people. This incident marked a turning point, revealing how efforts to control revolutionary fervor could turn into violent repression. This episode highlights the contrast between reformist intentions and the reality of power in the context of revolution. Addressing how the French Revolution provoked unrest among European monarchs, especially Leopold II, Emperor of the Holy Roman Empire, which was primarily Austria and brother of Marie Antoinette. Leopold, a staunch supporter of monarchies and known for his extravagant lifestyle, was nervous about republican movements in France, fearing potential repercussions for his own regime. We explore how the turmoil in France not only challenged internal order but also threatened traditional power structures across Europe, jeopardizing the luxury and authority of monarchs like Leopold. We explore the escalation of tensions that led to the Declaration of Pilnitz, where Leopold II and King Frederick William II of Prussia pledged to restore the French monarchy. Faced with this threat, Louis XVI and the National Assembly planned to invade Austria, seeking resources and spreading revolutionary fervor. However, Prussia's alliance with Austria against France posed a significant challenge. Exposing Louis XVI as a traitor to the revolution led to the assembly suspending the monarchy, calling for new elections, and drafting a new republican constitution. Finally, Louis XVI was tried, found guilty, and executed by guillotine, an act that profoundly marked the course of the French Revolution. The impact and symbolism of the guillotine during the French Revolution. Initially conceived by Dr. Joseph Guillotine as a more humane and equitable execution tool, the guillotine was promoted as a form of death that did not distinguish between social status, indiscriminately eliminating both nobles and peasants. Despite its purpose to eradicate torture and executions, its intensive use became a reminder of how even the most enlightened intentions can lead to brutal consequences. This episode explores the contradictory legacy of the guillotine, reflecting on the irony that, in its pursuit of equality, it ended up symbolizing the extreme violence of the revolution. The period known as the Terror, a critical and bloody phase of the French Revolution initiated with the execution of Louis XVI. Under the leadership of Maximilien Robespierre and the Committee of Public Safety, France experienced a wave of violence that culminated in the guillotining of 16,000 people, including Marie Antoinette and Robespierre himself. In addition to this chilling purge, the committee sought to eradicate old traditions and the influence of religion even changing time measurements, renaming the months, and redesigning the clock. This episode details how an attempt to reform society and protect the revolution resulted in a regime of terror and repression, profoundly altering the course of French history. Following the terror of the French Revolution, when a new constitution granted more power to the wealthy elite. Despite wars with Austria and Great Britain, France emerged victorious largely thanks to Napoleon Bonaparte, who rose to power as the first consul in 1799. Under a new constitution, Napoleon gained almost unlimited executive power, marking an apparent return to monarchical absolutism. As the nobility and the Catholic Church attempted to regain their influence, Napoleon consolidated his authority, raising questions about whether the French Revolution truly achieved radical change or simply changed the face of power. This episode invites reflection on the ironies and complexities of a revolutionary movement that, in many ways, reproduced the authority structures it sought to overthrow. At the fall of Napoleon in France, where the monarchy was restored and the country was mostly under the rule of the Bourbons or the Bonapartes during the 19th century. Although these monarchs were constitutional, their return raised questions about the true legacy of the French Revolution. Some argue that the revolution spread enlightened ideals, while others argue that it strengthened state power rather than improving individual freedom. This controversy underscores how the French Revolution, despite its complexity, had an undeniable revolutionary impact that transcends even the legacy of the American Revolution. From Diderot's perspective, the French Revolution may have more directly addressed social inequalities, making it a more powerful revolutionary force than its American counterpart. Analyzing the radicalism of the French Revolution in contrast to the American Revolution, highlighting its insistence on the universality of its ideals. It focuses on Article 6 of the Declaration of the Rights of Man and of the Citizen, 
which states that laws must emanate from the general will of the citizens and be applied equally to all. This stance marked a significant shift compared to earlier times and the ideals of figures like Thomas Jefferson. The question posed by Chinese President Zhou Enlai about the impact of the French Revolution remains relevant today, as the revolution continues to raise questions about the nature and origin of human rights. After addressing the fundamental issues that the French Revolution has raised in today's society, it is asked whether government should be of the people, by the people, where our rights derive from, and what these rights are exactly. The ongoing relevance of these questions in shaping our contemporary institutions and values is highlighted. We invite you to reflect on these issues and anticipate a follow-up in the next week.